guys, I'm Dr. Sean from VitalityTherapy.ca and today we're going to be talking about shoveling. So last week the snow fell down, we're all getting excited to go skiing, snowshoeing, cross country skiing, but the fun with those fun things also comes the not so fun things. We got a shovel. Unfortunately, with shoveling comes a lot of people giving us a call because they hurt their back or they hurt their shoulders or they hurt their neck. And why do they do that? It all has to do with improper shoveling technique and also not a good warm up. Most people wake up in the morning, see the snowfall, walk outside, and with a cold body actually start shoveling away, right? Then hop in their car and take off for work. Or they get home from work at the end of the day, they've been sitting in the car or sitting at the office all day, see that this driveway's full or the, or the walkway's full, and they hop out of the car, pick up the shovel, and start shoveling. So that's the easiest way to hurt yourself without warming up. The other thing, like we say, they don't use the proper technique. So we're going to start on the warm up. So and he, just like exercising, shoveling is actually exercising. You have to warm up. If you start uh, shoveling with a cold body, you're able, you're more likely to injure yourself. So how do you properly warm up? Well, one of the easiest ways to get the blood pumping in the body uh, is to do some air squats. So you'd want to do about 10 to 15 air squats, right? Just to get the blood pumping. The reason we do cho we choose air squats is you want to choose uh, movements that actually mimic what, what uh, shoveling actually is. So we're going to start with some simple air squats, about 10 to 15, just to get the heart pumping, the blood flowing. Next, what you're going to do is you're actually going to do some, a little bit of rotation for the spine and core. So with my abs nice and tight, we're going to take, we're going to pick a point out in front, hands out in front. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up, maintaining tension in our core, and come back around. We're going to go 10 to 15 per side. Open up. From there, we're actually going to add the two together. So we're going to do a bit of a squat. We're going to open up, come back around. Okay? That will give us the core activation, the glutes, the, the quads, the hamstring, everything kind of warmed up. We also want to do a little bit of some simple shoulder circles, forward, backwards, some simple shoulder reaches, just enough to get all the joints kind of primed and pumped and ready to go. Now it comes to actually proper shoveling technique. So shoveling is actually, it's a, it's, it's, it's a sport, it's an, it's an activity, it's, a, it's an exercise. Um, you need to get yourself into a, an athletic position. So again, one of the mistakes we see is most people when they shovel, they actually hinge at the low back. So they're actually hinging at the low spine and then they add a bit of rotation when they go to throw it away. And that is actually one of the easiest ways to injure your disc, right? The biomechanics don't favor the disc in that position. And we see a lot of disc injuries or lumbar strains or hip flexor strains. So what you really want to do is you want to get yourself into athletic position. So it's almost a quarter squat or a deadlift where I have my, my glutes and my hamstrings loaded and my core and my back are nice and straight. From that position, I'm stable and I can actually pick up the snow and then the next phase is, as I come out of that, I actually explode or I come up through my legs, through my, my glutes and my, my hamstring and my quads, and I point my toe in the direction with my core tight, then I throw, looking at the direction, the snow to the side. And when we repeat that process over and over again, we have to make sure that each movement is the same, right? Because if I start to, if I get lazy or I start to forget, that's when I, I'm at risk of injuring myself. Then periodically throughout that, you want to switch sides. You actually want to try and shovel bilaterally. So we do the same movement with the other sides. If you do end yourself uh, shoveling, don't hesitate to contact us. So if you have any questions or, or and you need any more information, visit us at vitalitytherapy.ca. Thanks.